Hi there, it's Mark Sebastian, founder of OptionPit.com, and this is the Volatility Report. Reminder, this is for education purposes only. No, this should be considered investment advice. Options have risk. Quite the day today, folks. Um, boy, we were down 20. VIX settlement, 13.79, 13.80. So a nice little pop in volatility. And you can see what it's done. I mean, everything is moving. Uh, Apple is down. Uh, really, it's been... Um, it's, it's really been a, a pretty decent move by the overall market. Uh, volatility has come in, and there is lots of, uh, lots of stuff moving around. It's been kind of fascinating to, to watch. Um, you can see Apple. You know, remember I talked about this the other day. They have these nice pops, and then they kind of glide lower. Uh, I think Apple's in that glide lower area. And it could, it could be a day, it could be a couple of days before things get a lot better for Apple. Uh, we did this kind of in the money straddly trade that is finally starting to work. Um, it's not been perfect, but it's starting to work. Uh, you know, we're heading into holiday season. A lot of people take money off. The, things have been soft in Europe, really soft in Europe and in Asia and in China. So there's some issues floating around that are non-U.S. based that are pushing things. You can see Alibaba is down almost 2%. Uh, a look at EWJ, which is the Japanese ETF. And you can kind of get a view of, of, you know, it's dropped from, you know, it's off three bucks. So 5% in the last couple of days. That, that's not fun. So, you know, Things are soft today, all right? And this Apple, and that's on the back of Buffett saying he bought more of it. Now, in, in the on the other end, you have IBM, where Buffett in, says he sold more, and you can see it's sitting at its 50-day moving average. The implied volatility is in the tank. Uh, it has gone from this might be an interesting call buy to this might be an interesting put buy. So um, I may look at this from a bear perspective. Um, and... You know, it's kind of just fascinating, uh, just the way the market is lining up. VIX still over th is now over 13. Hasn't had a spike. The big thing I want to point out, and this is the big difference. Everybody talked about VIX spikes, VIX spikes, VIX spikes. This is not a spike. Look, look at what we're seeing. There's no spike here, right? You got a nice little small gap here from yesterday's high was 1261. Today's open high is 1451. The open about 1360. So a, a little bit of a of a gap, but not really. Not much. Of, not I would never call this a spike. This is a spike. This is a swell. We have gone straight up since the third. It's been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days of VIX rally. Yeah, I know they're already buying the dip. And you're seeing that, you know, there here's this kind of dip buying program stepping in. SPX, I think, has lower to go. I think it's going to touch the 50 before we're done. When I look at, at how it's lining up, I think SPX is going to 2540 before it's going to catch a bit. Then it's going to consolidate. It's going to um, kind of pull itself together. Europe has been too weak. Take a look at EFA. That's so then you have EFA, which is down huge. And you can see vol is just way higher. So it's uh, yeah. I mean, so there's just been some some softness. Russell continues to look terrible. It looks really bad. And like, let's talk about IBB. Take a look at biotechs. I don't know if you guys have noticed, biotechs are now below the 200-day moving average. 
How about that? There's a if there's not a buy the dip program on that, then something is wrong. That looks terrible. So I think things look soft. And I think we're setting up. I think we're going to see our VIX spike uh, maybe this week. Uh, but things look like they're lining up for if if we were going to get a 20 VIX at all this week, I think now would be the time. Um. I don't know that we will, but I think we could see our high for the – we're lining up to get the high VIX for the year. High VIX for the year is 1666. I would not be surprised if we got something like that. I think that lines up. Maybe not today, uh, but one of those warnings when we open up. You know, we've been kind of opening down and rallying every day. I mean, look at – let me just pull up a quick tick, tick chart here. Look at a five day, every day, open low rally, open low rally, open low rally, open low rally. It's been like clockwork. So that's the piece that I think lines up a little weird. All right, folks, um, be on the lookout. I think that there's uh, there's definitely some 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 trip wires. I think by the dip. It's premature for buy the dip. There are people are going to try it, and it's worked on a daily basis, but not on an interday basis. Um, and that that be the kind of big pattern I've noticed. All right, if you got questions, you can email me marketoptions.com or call me eight 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 trade zero one. Have a great morning.